Okay, guys, here, here what we want to talk about are pyramids. And, of course, what I have here are several different pyramids, and you can look at them uh, at different in different perspectives, and what we're going to see is as follows. So every pyramid, every pyramid is designed, okay, on a polygon, okay? Every pyramid is designed on a polygon. If I look at the underside of this, look at what I have. I have a, a rectangle here. I have a pentagon over here, okay? Um, you know, uh, uh, I have squares as my base for my pyramids, okay? I have, uh, here I've got a hexagon as a base for my pyramid. Here I have a triangle as a base for my pyramid. So whatever I want as a base I can have for my pyramid. Now, okay, here's the statement right here that tells you what a pyramid is, okay? A pyramid is, okay, all pyramids have, okay, polygonal faces, and triangular faces. All pyramids have polygonal faces and triangular faces, okay? All pyramids have polygonal faces and triangular faces. Any way you look at it, the face of every triangle, of every pyramid here is a triangle. And, okay, the thing we want to remember, the formula for finding the volume. The formula for finding the volume is one-third the base area times the height. One-third the base area times the height. That's the formula for the volume of a pyramid. One-third the base area times the height. Okay, remember the base. The area of the base is going to depend on the polygon. Square is easy. Side square. Rectangular base. Okay, rectangular base. Length times width. Okay. When we look at these other bases, like a pentagon, half the apothem times perimeter, not to forget. Hexagon, half the apothem times the perimeter. Where's my triangular base pyramid? I don't know, it's in there somewhere. But for a triangular base pyramid, okay, which is has a special name, which is called a tetrahedron, okay, it's in there somewhere. All right, the volume is going to be, okay, one half the the base times the height, times the height of the pyramid. Now you ask, well, what is the height of the pyramid? The height of the pyramid is simply, okay, from the very high peak straight down to the base of the pyramid. That's the height, okay? We'll show you that um, in a moment with a cut a cutaway of the pyramids. But, okay, again, the thing to remember right here, one-third the base area, times the height, one-third the base area times the height for the for the area of the pyramid, right? One-third base area times the height. And, okay, the bases are always, okay, some type of polygon, and the faces are always triangles, okay? Okay, here we want to show you this cutaway because we're going to use this later when we refer to okay, the um, surface area of the pyramid, but, okay, uh, we can see here for this pyramid, all right, um, that it's a square base, okay, it's a cutaway, you're going to actually make this design, it's a square base, it's a cutaway, and I'm showing you inside here, okay, this edge inside here is the height, okay, that height stands as, you can see, that height stands as uh, 12 feet, okay? The base is 10 feet, so if I wanted the volume of that, the base is 10 times 10, which is, of course, 100, times 12 times 1 third, okay? So it's 1 third of 1200, which would make that 400 uh, cubic feet would be the volume of that. Now, later we're going to talk about the, what's called the slant height, and that's what we're going to use, okay, when we um, uh, when we look at the surface area. But what you can see here, okay, the slant height and the height, when we do this cross section, will always form a right triangle, okay. So wherever you have that right triangle, of course, you have to be concerned about 
you know, triplets, about 30, 60, 90s, 45, 45, 90s. It's all possible to come into play with that. Now, lastly, we want to show you the cone, okay? And the cone has the same formula for its volume as does the, um, the pyramid. It's one-third the base area times the height. One-third the base area times the height. Here, here again, we look at this cutaway. That cutaway suggests the height straight up from the middle of the base. Straight up from the middle of the base is the height, okay? And, okay, um, the base, of course, is a circle, so the base area would be pi r squared. Pi r squared times the height times one-third, okay? And as you can see with that cross-section right there, you're always going to have that right triangle. So anytime that right triangle comes into play, look for those things that always pop up with right triangles, you know, um, the um, Pythagorean triplets, okay, your 30, 60, 90s, 45, 45, 90s, or possibly just uh, some uh, straight-up trigonometry to help you find uh, one of those sides. That slant height, as we see, is going to come into play momentarily when we talk about the surface area. Okay, so that's that.